In this lesson, we'll be looking at object snaps in AutoCAD. Object snaps allow you to draw with great precision. In order to demonstrate how to use these snaps, I'm going to start by drawing a circle. To draw a circle, click on the circle icon on the Draw toolbar. If you left click at this point, that determines the center point of your circle. As you move the mouse, you'll see a line that indicates the radius of the circle. So if I just click there, that becomes my circle, and the command ends. Now, I'm going to click on the line command. Draw a line, and then right click to select enter. This has the same effect as pressing the enter key on the keyboard. It ends the command. I now have something to demonstrate how to use object snaps. For instance, if I wanted to draw a line from the center of this circle to the end point of this line, I could use object snaps. Now there are a number of ways to display the different types of object snaps. One way is to hold down the shift key and right click. You can see that a context menu pops up and these then are the object snaps. End point allows you to snap to the end of a line or an arc. Midpoint snaps to a midpoint of a line or an arc. Center is used for circles or arcs. You can snap to different quadrants of a circle using the quadrant object snap, and so on. We'll take a look at most of these snaps in this lesson. Right now, I'll hit the escape key to exit the menu, and draw a series of line segments using the object snaps. So now, I'll click on the line icon, and now it's asking for the first point. I'll press shift and right click in order to activate an object snap. We want to draw a line from the center of this circle, so I'll select center. Down in the prompt, you see send off. When I move into the circle, or even the center of the circle, you'll see that there's a yellow marker. If you left click when you see that yellow marker, you will snap or select it. Now, I want to draw to the end point of this line. I could press shift and right click, but the object snaps all have shortcuts, and for end point, it's end. So I'll type end, hit enter, and you can now snap to either end point of the line. Even if you are off the line, but can see the yellow marker, you will snap to the end point. And I will select it now. So, I've drawn a line segment from the center of this circle to the end point of this line. The next thing I'm going to do is draw another line segment to the quadrant of this circle. For any circle, there are four quadrants, and they're located at the cardinal points on the circle. Zero degrees, 90 degrees, 180, and 270. So now, for quadrant, if you type QUA and hit enter, you see that I can snap to each quadrant. And I will select this one. Now, I will go to the midpoint of this line. So I'll type mid and hit enter. And because this line only has one midpoint, there is only one snap available. I will now demonstrate the tangent object snap. So I'll type TAN for tangent and place the cursor in the approximate area of where this line will be tangent to the circle. Notice that there's actually two lines tangent to the circle from that point. So you have to be careful with tangents. I'll snap to this tangent point. Now I'm going to end by drawing a line to the intersection of the line in this circle. So, to use the intersection object snap, type INT and hit enter. Place the cursor near the intersection and select it. Now I'm going to hit enter to terminate the line command. Up to now, you've seen that you can access these object snaps either by holding down the shift key and right clicking or by typing the shortcuts from the keyboard. We can also access them by opening the object snap toolbar. Open the view pull down and select toolbars.
Now place a check next to object snaps and close the window. You can now see the object snap toolbar. And I'll dock it to the bottom of the screen. If I wanted to draw a line perpendicular to another line, I'll first need to click on the line command. I'll select a point, and let's say I wanted it to be perpendicular to this line. If I click on the snap to perpendicular, AutoCAD will always draw a line perpendicular to this line whenever I hover over it. So at this point, I'll terminate the line command and undo a couple of commands to get back to what I originally started with. So far, to access an object snap, we typed in the shortcut or selected an icon from the toolbar. As soon as we use the snap, the snap command ended. To use it again, you need to type it or select it again. However, there is something called running object snaps. This allows you to make selected snaps active at all times. If we come down here to the status bar, there's this button here, the O snap. If I click on it, the running object snaps will be activated. But rather than doing that, I'll first right click it to display the settings dialog box. Select settings, and you see that when we open this, we get this drafting settings dialog box. Each one of these object snaps that are checked will be operational once I turn the object snaps on in the status bar. I'll turn on quadrant, turn off extension, and turn on tangent and perpendicular. And then click OK. I will now activate the O snap toggle to engage the running object snaps. You can always turn them off at any time. Now let's repeat what we had done earlier. First I used the line command and drew a line from the center of this circle to the end point of the line. Next to the quadrant and then to the midpoint, then tangent to the circle and then to the intersection and press enter to end the line command. Then I drew another line segment out in space perpendicular to this line and press enter. You can see that it is quite easy this way using the running object snaps. However, you need to be careful when using running object snaps. Sometimes you'll intend to choose a point and your intent will be overridden by the object snaps. So be careful when using object snaps. This then completes the lesson on using object snaps. We've looked at using the line command to draw a series of line segments snapping to different snaps or existing objects.